Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the seventh session of the Second Convocation of National Assembly of Western Armenia, the Church of the Shosh community of Askian region of Artsakh is being repaired. Daily life and problems of the village. How did the last Artsakh war affect the Armenian people scattered around the world? On June 13, 1992, Shahuman was deprived of Armenians and occupied. Recognized Western Armenia Harbert Fortress Palu. Armenia is the center of winemaking, given news reference to Armenian winemaking. Among a number of historical and cultural values, the Azerbaijan desecrated the Nesos Stepanian Square in Shushi. During the seventh session of National Assembly of Western Armenia of the Second Convocation, member of the third NA Commission on Foreign Relations and Parliamentary Relations with other countries, Guillermo Karamanyan presented the report on the Commission. The members of the third Commission took steps to obtain official documents of the state that recognized the Republic of Armenia in 1920. The Commission is also studying the composition of the heads of parliament of the countries that recognize the genocide of Armenians. The purpose of all this is to develop a draft law that will enable the aforementioned state to support Western Armenia, which is considered a continuity of the Republic of Armenia in 1920. After Guillermo Karamanyan's report, NA Speaker Nelly Harutunyan thanks their deputies and urged them to be more active in the issues of new programs. In the next issue, we will introduce Harutunyan's report on the functions and general provisions of legal commission. The St. Astazadzin Church is being repaired in the Shosh community of Askian region or Republic of Artsakh. About this in an interview with correspondent Artsakh Press said the head of the community, Eric Abramian, adding that the church is being repaired under the patronage of the hero of Artsakh, Colonel Karen Jalavian. The head of the community noted that the history of the village dates back to the 13th, 14th century. According to him, 10 displaced families were settled in a community after the war. Before the 44th day war, the community had 2,876 hectares of agricultural land, 75% of which were captured by the enemy. Therefore, most of the villagers stopped farming. The lands we have are also on the direct target of the enemy, and due to security, they are not cultivated. We have a problem of pastures because of which animal husbandry has suffered. Nevertheless, there are farms that still continue to engage in animal husbandry, Eric Abramian said. The winner of the ESA contest, New Jersey, is Narek Makarchan and Alex Sahabab, who was one of the six winners of the ESA contest AYF Camp Armenia Championship of the Council of Youth Seminars 2022 of the Arsene branch in New Jersey. Despite the recognition of the genocide of Armenians, the result of the war continue. How do we feel as Armenians of America? Since the liberation of Artsakh in the early 1990s, Armenians everywhere have dreamed that one day the Artsakh region could reunite with Armenia and bring us one one step closer to our goal of a free, independent and united Armenia. Nevertheless, the Artsakh War of 2020 and the ongoing aggression of the Azerbaijan armed forces through the violation of the ceasefire regime not only hindered this program but also seriously affect daily life both in the regional Republic of Artsakh and in Armenia. During the war, tens of thousands of civilians in the Artsakh region were forced to move to Armenia because the war was too violent and dangerous to stay in their homes. The official recognition of the genocide of Armenians by President Biden Biden, as well as by all 50 U.S. states, is a huge victory for all the Armenian community. As an American of Armenian origin, I am outraged that people with such a rich history and culture are treated as second-class citizens. The time has come to give our support to those who, in our opinion, will defend what is right and take steps not only to help Armenia but also the whole world in any matter. A number of villages in the Shahuman region of northern Artsakh has been excavated of the Armenians as a result of collective military police operation carried out by Soviet troops and special forces of the Azerbaijan militia in April August 1991. However, Azerbaijan's goal was the final eviction and occupation of Shahumyan, which was carried out in June 1992. 30 years ago, on the night of June 12 and 13, tens of thousands of Shahumyan residents were deported and scattered around the world, never forgetting their lost homeland and the cruelty they saw and experienced in those days. The northeastern part of Shahumyan region has an ancient and rich history. It has been inhabited since ancient times, as evidenced by the ancient monuments found on a territory. From the 9th to 6th centuries, the territory 
center of the region was part of one kingdom. During the period of Great Armenia for 4th to 5th centuries, it was included in the provinces of Utik of Artsakh, Great Kuang. Until the end of 20th century, the current territory of the region was inhabited by Armenians, although from time to time it was conquered by foreigners. The indigenous Armenian population was able to preserve and develop its own writing, literature and culture. In the 14th century, the villages of Paris and Gulistan were named important centers of the education. Palu is located in western Armenia in the province of Argamaden of the province of Kharbert, which roughly corresponds to the historical province of Balahovit. According to legend, Balahovit was named because of the extensive cherry orchards in this place. The high altitude rock near the city on which the fortress of Palu was built in ancient time was called Mount St. Mestrov, where Mestrov Mashtot stayed for seven weeks and finally reworked in Armenia letters he invented. A 29-line cuneiform inscription over Artyan King Menua I has been found here. Since the middle of 19th century, the fortress has already been destroyed and lost its beauty. Armenia is the center of wine banking. This is how the leading international media center Euronews entitled his address proclaiming the Armenian highlands as the ancient homeland of wine making. As reported by Armen Press, Euronews talks about the tradition of 8,000 year old culture and 6,000 year old wine culture, adding that when thinking about wine, we should not miss one of the oldest wine growing regions of Armenia. The media attaches importance to the fact that a unique exhibit recently opened in Armenia, stored in a museum of history of wine, opened the way for visitors to the past of Armenia winemaking. The museum is located just 30 km from Armenia at the Armenia Wine Viner, located 8 meters from Basalt Rocks, attaching important to the museum's tendency to popularize the culture of ancient winemaking. Yevronius also points out to the presence of biography, which indicates that Armenia is indeed the cradle of winemaking. After the Armenian fortress city was captured by the enemy, dozens of historical and cultural monuments, museum and exhibit halls, and archaeological materials remained under enemy control. It is obvious what extreme manifestation of vandalism and barbarism are taking place in occupied territories. We have recently learned with regret that among a number of historical and cultural values, Azerbaijanis have also desecrated the Nelson Stepanian Square in Shushi, where a great friend of Armenian people, Kin Bakshi, is buried, which was attended by writers, art historians, scientists, from Armenia, Russia and other countries. They even turned into a kind of memorial day which featured speeches by the famous Armenian scholar, writer and publicist Kim Bakshi about the rich scientific heritage he left. Bakshi's entire literary and scientific activity is a vivid example of the friendship of people. The memory of devoted friend of the Armenian people is kept alive in Armenia and Artsakh today, assessing the humanitarian mission of the writer and the Armenian scholar on various occasions. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.